connoisseur. <laughs> and I will go first. <laughs> I prefer to eat out. I love to cook, it's fun, but I'm not that great at it and I'm still learning, so I like to go out to eat for motivation. <laughs> Mary says she is a cook slash chef. I like it, useful skill. What else? I'm having to get kind of creative with these questions, guys. I mean, we do them like five days a week, so we're getting to know each other pretty well. <laughs> All right. Steve says, I wish I could cook more than scrambled eggs and toast. Does making toast count as cooking? We're going to go with yes, because we like you, Steve, but I'm on the fence about that one. <laughs> cool. What else? Anyone else? Sydney says, Sydney and Sophia say, cook because it's fun to try out recipes. Totally agree. All right. Okay. Since we did not take any breaks for water, please make sure you take some big sips of water in this time so that we don't become dehydrated. Very important. George says, cook, pour ingredients, eating out. <laughs> Bonnie says, like to cook so I know what is in my food, I am fussy. That I completely understand. Cooking at home is absolutely more healthy than going out to eat, that's for sure. <laughs> and Keziah says, I don't cook, but my mom has this challenge where she cooks with the leftovers the week and it's fun to see if the food is yummy or yuck. That's really cute, that's a good idea. It's like a kitchen sink meal, just see what happens. <laughs> Roll the dice, that's cool. Depending on what you have left over, I guess. It could be really bad. All right, focusing in on our workout instead of what's in our kitchen at that time. Let's come on up to stand. So find some movement in the legs. This is not actually one of our exercises, but I want to kind of work side to side to open up the hips. So let's just take 30 seconds here just to start to bend, getting some nice length in the alternate leg as you drop side to side, pressing the hips back behind you. And for these ones, you can go really slow if you want, but just working into a nice like hamstring adductor stretch. Especially since we're doing strength, I want us to get a little baby warm up here. I'm pleasantly surprised to see how many of us like to cook. I really like that. It's something that I want to get better at. I think it requires a lot of patience, and I don't always have that. <laughs> All right, come back up through center. All right, first up, we are going to work into the calves. So heel toe, your feet hips distance apart. I'm gonna angle to the side just so you can see. So I have an extra challenge for your calf work today, should you so choose, is a heel lift with an optional arm reach. Now, keeping the heels off the floor the whole time, so there's a little space between my heels and the floor. I go up, hover, out, hover, okay? Now the arm part is optional as long as you keep your heels off the mat. So let's start our one minute. We're going in three, two, and one. Up, hover, out, hover. Mm -hmm. And because this is strength, the focus is really on the calves. So if doing the arms means that you're dropping your heels to the floor, skip them. Mm -hmm. Up. Hover. Out. And hover. Good. Woo, don't let them touch. Nice. Hover. Out. Hover, awesome, last 20 seconds. Yeah, that's it. And we know what's coming, we're gonna move slower and shorter range of motion. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. It's funny, I was telling my boyfriend the other day, 
I'm starting to notice that my pants are fitting tighter around my calves just from all the calf specific work that we've been doing in these classes that I didn't used to do. I used to only do some of the bigger muscles. So it's kind of cool to see even that small change in the way your clothes can fit just from doing the bands. All right, second set. I'm gonna challenge you, slower, smaller range of motion. So I would even say, work through it, get those heels up, go up, two, down, two, out, two, down, two. But at no point do my heels touch the ground. We ready? Let's do this. Heels up, up, two, hover, two, out, two, hover, two. That's it, keep going. <laughs> Good. And out. Two. Up. Two. Hover. Two. Aha. Uh -huh. Great. We are half done. See if you can slow it down even more. Smaller move with the heels, but keep the arms doing what they're doing. Great, last 20 seconds. Woo. Nice, really working into the calves. Important muscles. They support the rest of our legs, even though they're smaller, guys. Give me 10. Get those heels even higher. Good, let's take one more set together. Up, two, down, two, up. Two, down, and rest. Kick it out, shake it out. Nice job. Okay. Now, we you did this move yesterday, and sometimes I like doing similar moves that we do the day previously, so because we remember the move, our muscles know what's happening, but we can start to use the same move for a very different purpose. So yesterday, we came into our sumo squat position, and we did heel lifts. Today, we're going to do a pulse, to work the quads and the hips. So coming into that sumo position, step the feet wide, really angle the toes out. I don't wanna see sloppy knees. Think about your knees tracking over your second and third toe, and we're just gonna work down, part way up, down, part way up. First set, medium pace. Second set, snail's pace. Full minute, let's do it. So this is almost like an imaginary wall sit. Imagine you have a wall behind you and I want you to keep your spine straight the whole time and do not let your legs fully straighten the whole time. Good. Resist down, resist up. Resist down, resist up. Marvelous. Yeah. Good, and if you wanna get even crazier, Get lower. Mm-hmm. Whoo! Burn it. 25 more seconds. Down and up. Now check your knees. Are they getting sloppy? Keep pressing them out. Last 15. See if you can make that range of motion even smaller. Imagine you're dragging your heels in opposite directions. Amazing. Oh, it burns. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Parallel the feet, rock the hips side to side. I love it. <laughs> All right, next set. And I wanna to demonstrate to the point where I am not able to finish it. So knowing that I'm gonna go there, I invite you to go there with me, okay? Angling the toes out. Bend into the knees. Now, smaller range of motion, even slower movement. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Time is rolling. Down, two, up, two. Check your knees. Keep pressing them open. I know. We're in it together. I'm already burning. Two, up, two. Down, two, up, 
two, make that movement even smaller. We are half done. Legs are starting to feel like lead. Drop into it even more. Up, two, down, two, up, two. 20 more seconds. Whoo, I might have to come out of it at some point. I'm burning. Come on. Good. We had 10. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo, last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot. Can I get like two thumbs up if you didn't know if you were going to be able to finish? Because I was like right there at the very end. All right. That was great. We had our two sets. Next up, we have plank knee hovers, also known as bears. So I come into my plank position. I hover my knees off the floor. I lift up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Uh huh. So we're working into this space the whole time. Okay. So what I don't want to happen is I don't want those legs to straighten. Keep the bend in the knees. Hover. Down. Up. Down. Up. Ready? Here we go. One minute. Up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch. Uh-huh. Good. And I'm imagining that I'm pulling my feet and my hands in opposite directions as I do this to keep that traction, to keep the move really small. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do this exercise, then we're gonna get our heart rate up, and we'll have some water. Good. See if you can get your knees even lower, work those hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Half done. Drop the knees even closer to the floor. You can do it. A lot of hamstring contraction happening to keep the bend in the knees, and that's what we want to see. Last 10. Get those knees even lower. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Tuck your toes and actually press your hips up and back to release the hamstrings, and then pedal the legs out. Good, shift forward, drop the knees. Take a moment to come off the arms, give them a rest. And for our second set, I want you to see if you can just hold in that bear position the whole time. So the nice thing about the knee hovers is we were letting the muscle release. It was small, but we were letting it release a little bit. This time, we're gonna keep our hamstrings contracted the entire time. So, stacking the joints, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tuck your toes, get your knees half an inch off the floor, and hold here. One minute. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe it's boring, I don't know. We can think about things while we're here, <laughs> in our bare position. And as you're doing it, pulling hands and feet in opposite directions to keep your knees just one inch off the mat. Good, keep holding. Keep holding. Great. Are these harder than planks? Absolutely. We worked our way up to holding a bare position for a whole minute. That was not easy stuff. We're working the shoulders, we're working the core, we're working the chest, and oh my goodness, we are working the legs. Last 25 seconds. You're gonna wanna give up, don't do it. You can do it, push through, push through. Little squeeze of the glutes, little squeeze of the core, Come into your breath, breathe a little bit slower. Give me 10. Yes. In five, we're gonna press our hips up and back to release the hamstrings. Give me three, two, and one. Great work. Pedal it out. All right. Start to walk the hand back to meet the feet. Take a nice forward fold, let everything hang. Even bigger hamstring release. And then nice and slowly roll on up to stand. Let's get our heart rate up with the leg bands on. 
And then we'll continue on into our last two moves of the day. So first 30 seconds, we have squat, jump, and reach. Then we've got our jumping jacks and we're gonna bring it home with our break dancers. On your marks, get set, bring the feet together, squat, jump, reach, let's go. Good, chest up. Doesn't matter if you touch the floor. Happy feet, keep going, fast. It's only 30 seconds. We've been doing a full minute intervals today. So let's literally fly through these. Great, last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jacks. <laughs> I think after all those contractions and small movements, it feels kind of good to do bigger movements. But that's just me. Good, half done. Last 10, then we're coming down for break dancers. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To the floor. Kick it through and switch. Through and switch. That's it. Move faster. <laughs> Great. After this, we have our final two moves of the day. Then we're going to do some core and stretch it out. Last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up to stand. Woo, water for everybody, take a rest. All right, we're gonna do it. Here we go. So next up, we prepared ourselves with our bare holds. Now we're ready to take a similar move, but add even more body weight to it. So it's a lunge knee hover. We are only doing one set per side. So go big, okay? But we are doing a full minute for that set. Left foot forward, right foot back. At no point do I want you to let this right leg straighten throughout the duration of the exercise if you can keep it bent, okay? Let's do it. Bend into that back knee. Hover it off the floor, pulse it up, down, up, and down. That's it. Now it's only one leg instead of two and bare, but we're adding the rest of the weight of the body. Our minutes rolling. Mm -hmm. And for this first one, it can be a medium pace, a little bit bigger range of motion. Just try not to let that back leg straighten. Down, up, down, up. Great, keep going. We have a full minute here, it's gonna burn. <laughs> but we know we only have to go through this one time. Great job, Instagram, too. Zoomers, you're killing it. <laughs> Woo, see if you can drop your back knee even lower into it. Mm -hmm. We can generally push ourselves a little bit further than we think we can. That's not to say push to the point of injury, but that is to say you're in a pretty safe place. And if you're already here, you might as well put in the extra work. Last 25 seconds. Yes, Jim, Diane, look good. I see you guys staying nice and low. George, amazing. George is barely moving. Bonnie, great. Lily, yes. Cindy and Sophia, Kazaya, awesome. Mm -hmm. Last five. Get that knee down even more. Four, three two, and rest. Oh my goodness, kick it out. Fantastic. That was a whole minute. That is not easy stuff. Let's switch it up, other side. Bend into the back knee, drop it down. Good, now, because we're doing a full minute, you can do a little bit bigger range and a little bit faster movement. If you want more of a challenge, Smaller range, slower movement, okay? So choose your own adventure here. One minute, let's go. Good. Yes. 
And we actually skipped one of our heart rate boosts today because everyone was doing so well with the strength stuff that I think we're doing pretty well. Plus we'll get our heart rate up a lot tomorrow. Good. Noticing here, and I'm seeing your form and everyone looks really great, but continuing to keep a nice straight posture, flat back and not slouching over, but everyone looks good, keep it up. Drop that knee half an inch, work into that range, see what it feels like. Mm -hmm. We are half done. Yes. Good. Last 20 seconds, even lower. Maybe even just hovering the knee off the floor. Try it, see what happens. We don't know what we're capable of if we don't push ourselves. Last 10. Woo! Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody up to stand, release it. Hands across the chest, opposite shoulders. Three times, hinge forward, release the hammies. Ooh, squeeze the glutes, come back up. Hinge forward, release that work. Squeeze your glutes, rise on up. Last one, hinge forward and hold it. Keep dropping your belly button down. Give me a back bend for five, four, three, two. Squeeze your glutes, rise on up. All right, last one of the day. Baby range of motion, snail's pace, only one set per side. It is our pistol squat. Yes, we continue to do these. No, we can't necessarily always get the full range of motion, but that's why we continue to do these because we wanna challenge ourselves. So, root your weight into your right foot, get the left foot off the ground, okay? I like to take my hands to my hips or arms forward. Whatever you want to do is great. Bend into the right leg. Keep that leg bent. Work up, down, up, down. I don't even care how low you go as long as you're not doing this. Straight spine, right leg. Try not to let it straighten the whole time. If you can get all the way down, great. But as long as you keep the muscle contracted, that is the goal here. One minute, we're rolling. Good, either arms forward or hands on hips. You can take wings. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what you're doing with your arms. We are doing a whole minute of this. The only thing is keeping that leg from fully straightening. Get that muscle to work for you. If you wanna try and go all the way down to the floor, that's fine. But usually when we do that, we straighten the leg up when we come back up. So we're working into that depth. Nice, Jim. If you happen to want to hold on to a wall or chair here, I'm okay with that. But part of the work is strengthening that muscle enough to support the body weight with a bent leg. Half done. Woo! So good. I see people trying to straighten their legs. I know you want to do it. Last 20 seconds. I'll jump on in too, why not? There we go. Ah, oh, even lower. Make that range smaller. Maybe even hold a bent leg. That's doing something. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can straighten that leg. Kick it out. Final move of the day. All the way into the left foot. Lift your right leg off the ground. Bend into the left knee. One minute, here we go. Don't let that leg straighten. <laughs> and I'm actually pressing my knees together for stability. If you wanna do that, that's fine. Do what you need to do to utilize other muscles in the body to help you with the goal. I'm cool with that. Mmm, great. Half done. See if you can drop a little bit lower. Challenge yourself now, last thing of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got 15 more seconds. Let's make them good, even if it's just a hole at the bottom, dropping your butt a little bit lower. Working that quad, that glute. Mm -hmm. Give me five, four, three, 
two, and come on up. Couple butt kicks to release. And our core for today is going to be part core and part stretch. We're gonna work two into one. So go ahead and come down to sit. This is a move that I have taken from Pilates that I really like uh, because it works every single muscle of our abdomen and we also get a nice hamstring stretch. So go ahead and reach your arms forward without letting them touch the floor, using the fingertips to get really deep into the stretch. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, keep those arms extending forward. Make your way one vertebrae at a time all the way down onto your back. And once you come down, take a big breath in, reach back. As you exhale, roll all the way up. And forward. Good. And if the breath doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Think inhale as you reach. And exhale as you roll. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, roll back. And we've got 30 more seconds of these. I'm moving at a pretty fast pace, just like we worked range of motion today. I encourage you to take these even slower. Think about articulating one vertebrae of the spine at a time up and off the floor as you come up and as you come back down. Great, last 15 seconds. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll meet seated in five, four, three, two, and rest those hands down. Walk the fingertips forward to get into the stretch. Give your head a shake. Yes, we did it. A strength day. And then roll up to sit. Root the hands behind you. Lift the chest for a spine stretch the other way. Pull the shoulders together. Nice posture practice. And then release your hands off the mat. Reach your arms up, straight legs, straight spine, straight arms. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands together. Give me a big old round of applause. Good job, gang. Awesome work. I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to be doing a more cardio-centric workout. Some of the jumpy stuff. I know it's not our favorite, but it's good for us, and we'll do it together, and we'll laugh, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Bye. Bye. I mean, we can hang out and chat, but <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Bye, guys. Great job, Laurel. Thank you very much. Good job. Bye, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Go Gators. <laughs>